Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this boolean function and for the given boolean function, we have been asked to find the essential prime implicants. So here, the given boolean function is the four variable function and here, this function is given in the SOP form. So first of all, let us write down all the min terms that is present in the function in the K map. So as you can see, this function is equal to 1 for the 10 different min terms. So all these min terms are represented in the K map. So first, by making the group of 1s, let us try to cover all the min terms. So here, as you can see, we can make the group of these 4 1s. And this group corresponds to b bar dot d bar. Likewise, we can combine the min terms 5, 7, 13 and 15. And this group corresponds to b dot d. And similarly, we can combine these four min terms that is min term 12, 13, 14 and 15 and this group corresponds to a dot b. So in this way by making the three groups we are able to cover all the min terms. So here basically these three groups represents the prime implicants but here we need to find out out of the given prime implicants which one are the essential prime implicants and for that you should be aware about the definition of the essential prime implicant. So the essential prime implicants are the prime implicants in which at least one min term is not covered by the any other prime implicants. So here, if you see this group d bar dot d bar, then these two ones are not being covered by the any other prime implicants. That means this group b bar dot d bar is the essential prime implicant. Likewise, if you see this group d dot d, then it is also the essential prime implicant. Because here, this min terms 5 and 7 are not covered by the any other prime implicants. Therefore, this group b dot d is also represents the essential prime implicant. But on the other end, if you see this group a dot b, then it is not the essential prime implicant. Because here, this 13 and 15 are already covered by this b dot d group. And likewise, this 12 and 14 are also covered by these two prime implicants. So of course, during the minimization, since these two prime implicants are not required, so they were not used during the minimization. But as you can see, these two min terms are also covered by the these two prime implicants. That means here, in this group A dot B, all the min terms are getting covered by the other prime implicants. That means here, this group AB is not the essential prime implicant. That means here, for the given boolean function, this B bar dot D bar and the B dot D are the essential prime implicants. And therefore, for the given question, this A is the correct answer.